You guys ask, I'm gonna answer. This is how I take a shower in van life. And it's overdue, it's well overdue. But first, we gotta get up out of here. Ooh, the dust, look at the dust. After being in the desert, there's nothing better than a good shower. And you guys have been asking me for quite some time how I shower in my van. So today, I think it's the day we're gonna talk about all the different ways that I can shower while in van life. Sometimes you have to commit if you wanna shower. And so I'm actually driving 20 minutes out of my way just so that I can take a shower at a Love's truck stop. Yeah. Um, is it the most desirable option? Uh, right now, yes, yes it is. I've been in the desert for a full week, so I want unlimited water. And this is something that you'll notice. Unlimited water only comes from certain places and a shower at a truck stop is definitely one of those. So if you're wanting to take a long stand under it kind of shower, this is where it's at. And I know there's a lot of stigma that's been built around showering at a truck stop, but today I'm gonna show you why it is in fact a really good option. And it's not that bad. But first, we have to get there. And this drive is beautiful. Look at all of these tall little jutting mountains coming out from around the highway. It's gorgeous. Okay, now we go in, we check in with our little scanning code, and then we wait. See how long this takes. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's a little bit. Okay guys, we have two in front of us and this is what they give you. You have a pin code so when we go back in and check in, you just type that in, it's super easy. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna browse. Okay, so this is what a truck stop shower looks like guys. It's pretty simple. It's just a very basic like bathroom structure with a shower, but let me show you closer. Okay, right here we have our mirror with our sink. They do provide towels, but I always bring my own because I have skin sensitivities. And then they have also some hand soap here. As we kind of look back, there is a fan that does plug in and you can turn it off or on depending on your preference. And then we have our own restroom with toilet paper and then a towel hook. But then inside here, you have this huge shower area and it has nice, hot, continuous water. Now, I don't always splurge for a truck stop shower because they're between 12 and $14, but when I do, oh, when I do, they are fabulous because you have continuous water and you can adjust the heat on them. Now, whenever I'm at camp, I'll show you how I shower when I'm physically at my van, but this, this is an experience that you will always love on the road. The door has an automatic lock. Sometimes it has a secondary lock, but then it also has this so that you can make sure that nobody comes in. And sometimes there's a deadbolt too. I typically also put my bag down here so that just in case I can hear it being knocked over while I'm in the shower. Never had a problem one, but it's just a little safety that I add for myself. But uh, I'm gonna get a shower real quick and then I'll get back to you guys. Shower shoes are a must. Shower shoes are a must. Okay, so that's it. I took my shower and I feel so much better. I just went and put some lotion on my face too. This is a great way to get a really good long shower whenever you're traveling. And I truly appreciate a good truck stop. Now, a lot of people are afraid of truck stops, but as you can see, I showed you very safe and kind of removed in your own little zone. It's not like a common shower. I think a lot of people have a misconception when they think of truck stop showers, but I've been using them the entirety of my five years of travel just off and on whenever I need a good long shower and they are great but 
Also, I have some other ways that I do shower. Check these out. I can definitely say there are a lot of different ways that I can shower on the road, but today I'm actually staying at a state park and usually state parks have showers. And so that's one option that you can consider when doing van life is state parks and improved campgrounds. Now, with that said, a lot of times these are paid sites. So that means that you have to pay for your site for the night in order to be able to use the facilities. And sometimes we don't like to do that, but it is one option. Let me show you what these look like. Okay, let me show you what you can look forward to showering at a state park. Here it is. Now this is actually kind of a little bit different than some of the state parks I've stayed at because it's an individual room. So each individual room has its own lock. But typically when you're showering in a state park, you're going to have some kind of divider. You're going to have hot and cold water. Typically there are some kind of hooks for you to hang your things and normally some kind of bench. Again, each state park is a little bit different. So you may end up being in like a shower room with a whole bunch of other people, or you may have your individual space like this. They're all a little different. Also, some state parks have additional fees for their showers and some are free. Like for example, where I'm staying right now, these are free, they don't have a time limit. You can use as much or as little water as you want and uh, it's no big deal. However, when I've stayed in some in Colorado, it's like a quarter for every three minutes and that can add up quickly. Okay, so the next way that I maintain showering on the road is through Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is a gym that is located across the country in various places, and they have two distinct memberships. Now, if you're a nomad, you need to get the black card membership because it allows you access to all of the clubs across the country and you just utilize this little app to check in, which is what I'm about to do. And uh, depending on if anybody's in there, I'll show you around. If they are, obviously I won't. That was super refreshing, but let me tell you a little bit more about the Planet Fitness Black Card and why so many nomads use it. It's absolutely fabulous, but um, let me tell you more. Now, while there are a lot of gyms out there that you can get a membership to, there are 2,039 Planet Fitness locations. And so it makes it extremely accessible in a lot of areas. So a lot of nomads turn to Planet Fitness because of the amount of locations, but also because of the price and what you get for that price point. That means that literally I could come in here and shower five times a day if I wanted to for about $24 a month. And if you compare that to our other option of the truck stop, each one of those showers are between $12 and $14 a piece this is definitely a better deal when you can find one i will say this i have been in areas where there have been five or six planet fitnesses and then i've been in areas where there are no planet fitnesses so you have to have a good ebb and flow but something else that i really like about planet fitness is they do have accessibility to additional amenities for example you physically can work out at a planet fitness unlike a truck stop or just showering in your van also they do have a black card only area which which has spa services. The spa services include water massage tables, uh, red light therapy beds, and in some cases, tanning beds if you're interested. So that's kind of a neat aspect of the Planet Fitness membership that sets it apart from some of the other memberships that you could possibly get. And I really like it. Not to mention, again, it is super affordable and it comes in at less than $25 a month. And it's well worth it when you start adding up the fees for showers at other locations, I'm just saying. So yeah, that's one option. But now we're gonna get to the elephant in the room, how I physically shower in the van. Well, outside of the van because yeah, I'll show you. I don't know how many times I've been asked, how on earth do you keep clean when you're actually at your campsite? This is something that is baffling to so many people, but there are so many different options. So for a tiny space like mine, these three things work the best. Just because you have a tiny space doesn't mean you have to be a garbage pail kid. In fact, in my small van, these three methods have worked extremely well. They are helping me to stay nice and fresh feeling no matter where I am and whether I have access to an open shower or not. So I think that these things will help you guys also, but um, let me show you. They're, they're not that hard. They're really not that hard. So the first thing that I want to tackle is the elephant in the room. Can I physically get clean in my van itself without any exterior stuff going on? 
yes, yes I can. And in fact, I have found that there is one way that is super handy for me to do that, especially whenever I'm in an urban setting or whenever I'm around friends and can't really just bust out the whole shower. These guys, these guys right here. There are 25 cloths in each one of these and they are amazing. So you might be asking, what are these? Why do you need them? And why are they super handy for me personally? Well, let me show you. So whenever you open up the bag, they just kind of look like these little tiny cloths like so. Nothing too crazy, nothing too insane, right? Lightly scented, very lightly scented. But what happens is whenever you actually add just a tad bit of water to these, they lather up and allow you to completely and totally rinse your body. Now the best part is you don't actually have to use more water to towel off. All you have to do is just pat your skin with a clean towel and it is perfect. And you feel so much better. Let me give a little demonstration using just this jug of water right here and one of these. I'm just gonna put a very small amount of water on there. In fact, that was too much. <laughs> From there, we just take it and move it around. And as we do, you'll notice that it's lathering up. Well, then you can take that lather and you can work it around on your body. And as you do, it will completely and totally clean you up. Now, the wetter that you get it, the more lather that you will have but you don't need very much. So this is great for water conservation, especially in the drier areas like the desert where you might be a little bit more remote. Of course, after you used it, all you have to do is just pull away the soap with your dry, clean towel. And then you have a nice, clean body. So see, super easy and super amazing feeling after. So that is the way that I can physically clean up while I'm inside the van. I can sit down on my bed, just put a towel under me and completely wash my entire body. And usually I can do my entire body with less than three of those little things, including my hair. You can actually use those on your hair also. I will say this though, using it on your hair, not going to leave your hair feeling the most bouncy and vibrant like a conditioner would. So kind of keep that in mind. And uh, it is good for touch up cleaning, especially on short hair like mine. But also you might want to explore different hair washing options like the one I'm about to show you. Hair washing is always a little bit different, especially depending on what kind of hair that you have. You may have long hair, you may have short hair, you may have curly hair, you may have textured hair. And so we all have a little bit of a different hair journey. So I have found that sometimes being able to just physically wash, wash your hair is super important. And that is where this guy comes in. It looks like just a regular water bottle, right? but it's not. It's actually something way cooler and way better for hair washing. This thing has an actual pump up here that pressurizes it and goes all the way down here and you can spray it in a variety of different spray options. Super cool, right? Let me show you a little bit more of how this thing works. This product is called Lunatech and actually has this super cute little astronaut on it, which I love. But you'll notice that on here, there's the pump right here and a spray nozzle here. So what you do whenever you're ready to take your shower or wash your hair with it is just pump it a few times to pressurize it. And then after you have it nice and pressurized, you'll turn on your little spout and there we go. That's a nice mist right there, which is great for like summertime, keeping cool, right? But as you turn it, you can get a more direct stream also, like right here, which is pretty cool. Now I think you can see why I keep this with me. Washing my hair is super, super simple with this. In fact, I can wash my hair with only about this much water versus having to take a full on shower to wash my entire head and using twice as much. So I definitely like this, again, for water conservation, it's fabulous. And uh, 
pretty handy. It also comes in some other colors, so you can kind of match it to your van if you want. Now for this next one, would you believe I have an entire shower in this little bag right here? Yeah, an entire shower fits into this tiny little bag. And in fact, all I have to do is unzip it and pull it out, and then I can have a physical shower at my campsite. Now a couple of things do go into this, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to assemble it, but it is super amazing and I love, love this thing. Inside the bag we have our little pump and then all we have to do is attach our actual pump hose right here and then it screws into place very simply. After that is finished, then we have one last attachment which is the actual shower head. Does that look familiar? It totally does. So we again screw this one in right here and then after that we are ready to go to take a good nice shower. In order to make this shower work we just need some kind of vessel for our water. I have this little bucket so whenever I'm taking just a quick shower this is perfect. It's one gallon and it just pops out. And then I also have a larger one that I can use as well. So with the bucket in place, we're going to put some water in. Now, if you're wanting to take a hot shower, super easy to do that also. In fact, all you have to do is just heat some water and add some cold water to it as well. And then you have a warm shower. So we're just gonna put a little bit in here for the demonstration today. Now in order for this to work, all we're gonna do is take our pump and put it inside, make sure it is submerged, and then there is a little power button right here. So we'll hit the little power button and we should have water. There we go. Now whenever we're finished with the shower, we simply take it and elevate the hose so that everything can drain out. And it should all come out and be drip dry. We also elevate the hose in the opposite direction. See, a little bit more stuck in there. So as you can see, it doesn't matter if you are on the road and traveling or at your physical campsite, there are lots of ways that you can physically keep yourself clean. There's no need to feel like you're going to be just a dirty person on the road. You can clean up every single day if you want to. And through some of the things that I've showed you, I hope you can see also that that doesn't necessarily mean you have to use the most amount of water. I know conservation is a big thing, especially whenever we're in a tiny van like mine. And so, I definitely wanted to show those options to you as well because I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. If it has, please leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and tell me if you have other ways for which you keep clean on the road. I just would like to know because they might be something that I want to try out in the future as well. Anyway guys, remember we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time, and that good time can definitely be a clean time. Just saying. It it totally can. Till next time, guys. Bye!